So we are a London-based startup, uh, immersive tech company building augmented reality and virtual reality applications for mental health and wellness. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> so we've actually so far been focused on cognitive health and dementia. We're building a VR application that can be used to enhance the mental well-being and cognitive health of people uh, who are affected by dementia. So if someone affected by dementia puts on a VR headset, what do they see? We have built an application that's based on an existing therapy, which is called reminiscence therapy. It's a form of therapeutic intervention that can be used to trigger long-term memories in people with dementia by discussing or showing experiences that they have uh, memories of from the 40s or 50s. So what we do is we build virtual experiences that can remind people of those times. It's based on an existing type of therapy. Uh, and actually what we were inspired by was an approach that was pioneered in the Netherlands of building physical environments called dementia villages oh, okay. that look like these villages from the 40s or 50s and people with dementia actually live in them and it's been shown to have a really positive impact on their quality of life on their mental wellness reducing medication usage uh, for managing the behavioral symptoms of the disease um, but obviously it's a very expensive approach it's not something everyone has access to so we use immersive technology to make that a lot more accessible and affordable what stage are you at with this right now so we have an application that's launched in the UK. It's available on the app stores right now. Uh, we are running a six month long trial with the UK's National Health Service, uh, the first of its kind. So we're very excited about that. It's going to look at uh, what the benefits of VR therapy are over a long period of time. So far we've done short term trials with our application and found it to be really effective in uh, enhancing mental wellness in uh, communication memory recollection, but we're really interested now in looking at what the benefits are of repeated usage and especially the effect it can possibly have on medication usage. Is there a cost involved? At the moment, the apps are available for free. Okay. If someone has a loved one with dementia, uh, how can they get in touch with you? Go to our website, vrtu.org, um, download our apps, and send us an email.